Um, welcome. Here we are. Live. It's Sunday night. I'm having trouble on Facebook, so goodbye, Facebook. I am streaming live over here on Instagram. Welcome, everyone. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my Empowered Spirit show, my energy focus for the week where I come on live. We talk about what's going on, align our energy, and set intentions for the week. How is everyone doing? Lots of energy going on in the cosmos. That's all I can say. Lots and lots and lots of energy. No, that's not all I can say, but that is the big thing for right now. I know I've been under the weather a little bit, so yeah, take care out there. And I know that, yeah, I've got my filters on because I was looking a little green under the regular lights, but there is a lot going on. So just really the thing to do right now is slow down. We're in this eclipse season, lots of cosmic forces, lots of changes in the world. We've got election, midterms coming up, so much cosmic forces, so much energy all around us that what we really need to do is slow down. All right, so. Let's start at the beginning, which is with the Empowered Spirit Show. Hey, Mercedes, how did you like that episode? My dear friend, Tina Conroy from the Intuitive Woman Podcast joined me. We had such a great time. We talked about all things spiritual, mediumship, ghosts, thinning of the veils, guides, entities. It was a really fun conversation. Tina and I have not had a conversation like this in a while. So I invited her to come on the show, and she's like, okay, come on, I'll put you on mine. So we did a little dual podcast. It was a lot of fun, and we covered a lot of energy. And I know for me, especially coming into tomorrow, Halloween, it's always an intense time of year for me. You know, I lost a baby midterm, midway through a pregnancy, more than halfway through, and it really started me on my own journey inward. And it really started me tuning in to what is this whole little spirit world about? You know, I felt this entity around me, this little being, I shouldn't say entity, this little being around me. And that really took me deep into my spirit. And it did begin a spiritual quest for me and has grown and grown and grown and grown ever since. So yes, the veils are thinning. We're going deep. We're being called to go in deep. We're in Scorpio season. Check out the podcast, especially if you have any questions about what does mediumship mean? What are ghosts? What are what are signs that you're getting messages? It was really a great conversation. You can find it on all the podca podcast streams for both of us, and link is in the bio, of course. And a shout out to my sponsor, Forecast Salon. Love you guys so much for supporting us. Forecast is a hair salon here in Birmingham dedicated to really creativity, education, and really getting energy, getting attention out there to the creatives as well. I look forward to my appointment this week coming up. Yes, Tita, great episode. I mean, Mercedes, great episode. Two great teachers together. Thank you so much. We really did have a fun time. So check out the podcast. If you're local to Birmingham, check out Forecast Salon too. Very grateful for them. So really, yes, have to take a breath. I have been sleeping, 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 trying to catch up with myself. But I know by coming in and focusing my energy for the week and being here for everybody, it really helps me as well and lift my spirit. Yes, Kika, Tina Conroy. It was such, you know, you know, Tina, our dear friend. We had such a great, it was such a great episode. We chatted for an hour, <laughs> literally an hour with so much information. We could have kept going, but it was such a great episode. Hey, Carla, how are you? My girls, yes. And what a great costume you had on, Kika. Your face, you look beautiful. Oh my gosh. I have my filters on tonight. I haven't been feeling well. This helps me look not green. So let's talk about the week. A lot of intensity. Today, we have Mars retrograde back into Gemini until the end of the year. All right. It's going to feel like Mercury retrograde because Mars is a little bit more aggressive and Mercury's in the sign, all this astrology stuff, which you don't need to know, except you do need to know that you know, watch your words, watch your aggression, watch your fight. You may need to take a pause before you speak, <laughs> right? You don't want to make enemies. People are going to be asserting themselves. We know this. We know this with the elections coming up. So just be careful. Be careful in your voice. We're also sitting right between both of those eclipses. All right, we had the new moon solar eclipse last week. Yep. And then we have the full moon lunar eclipse coming up. The full moon lunar eclipse could be a little bit more intense. Full moons generally are, not always, but generally. But we're in this portal of energy, and it's about change and evolution and getting out of the out of your comfort zones. 
It also is where your north and south nodes are. So if you have an astrologer, find out where that is for you. What house are you in that you need to really work on? South node is where we come in, our comfort zone. All right, that's what we dealt with last week. We're being pushed to the north node, which is our purpose, what we're here for. Most of us cannot do that if we stay in our comfort zone. We have to grow. We have to move forward. So don't be afraid to make the changes. Slow down. Again, I said it before. Take pauses during your day, especially if you feel like, okay, I can't handle this. What the heck is going on? Take a pause. Five minutes, 10 minutes at your desk, wherever you are, meditate. Don't go for the extra cup of coffee. I've been talking about this. In the afternoon, do some Reiki, do some meditation, not that extra cup of coffee. Bring yourself back into balance. All right? Things will be cleared. All right? You may, you may overspeak. It happens. I know I can be a bit direct. And if it does, just stand in your truth, but find the compassion, find the diplomacy in your words, right? Really work it through so that you can clear the air and you can let go of things that maybe have been bubbling up. All right? This is a big time to really look at what you're doing, your path, where can you make changes? Don't hesitate to stir things up, all right? I mean, I, I do believe you need to watch the aggression in your voice and watch the ferociousness, the fierceness from which things come out. But also, too, it is a time to make changes. And so sometimes we have to stand in our truth in order to be who we are and to hold up to our value and hold up to our worth. I know I've had to do it, right? I had to, like, stand up in my worth. Wait a minute. This isn't how I want to be treated, all right? And so it may cause you to do that. But ultimately, it is a good thing because ultimately, then your own worth will grow and you will grow and you will be able to really know where it is that you're going. All right. Now, the first days of November, right? November starts. Well, tomorrow's Halloween. Happy Halloween. Tomorrow's Halloween. And then Tuesday starts November. We're going to be productive. We're going to be moving along. All right. We are, but we're just in the midst of this area. So again, just like know the changes that you want to make. This path is almost like a karmic path, right? From south node to north node. From comfort zone, purpose. What is your purpose? Are you off track of your purpose? Have you lost sight of your purpose? Do you need help with your purpose? Schedule an Akashic reading if you need help with your soul purpose. I can help you with that. Schedule an energy intensive. Let's do it. All right. And this season, this time right now can feel intense and it can feel overwhelming. But when you constantly come back to your spiritual practice day by day, Morning, evening, night, noon, whenever you find that time, as much as you can find that time, reconnect with yourself. And that is really what is going to be the greatest thing for you to move through this time, to make the changes that you need, and build that practice on a daily basis is really going to be where you find your answers. Notice in your practice, notice when you're meditating. Before you finish, just kind of ask the questions like, where am I being called to go? What is my work being asking? What is my work asking me to do? Little messages, little steps, these are just as valuable and just as great for you to know so you can figure out step by step by step. I know I've talked about this several times. I've set a big goal for me for next year, like all the way through until January of 2024. I don't quite know how I'm going to get there, but if I just take little messages and little steps and keep going and keep my side on the bigger picture, it will work out. If I try to get there, which is my habit, I confess, I admit, I want to get right to the end. But we don't do that. We ask for those little messages. We use our intuition. intuition. We build our practice on a daily basis. So what is it that you want to transform? What are the intentions you want to set for yourself? Where can you make that shift? Yes, Mercedes, a spiritual practice. You know it is because it is a busy time out there. We are growing. There's so much stuff underneath the surface. So as you start this week, notice where you are. Enjoy Halloween. Be safe. Be careful. Notice who dresses up as what. I always find that kind of interesting, right? And then also, too, as we start to move into, you know, we have All Saints Day, Day of the Dead. Honor your ancestors. Honor those parts within you. Honor those that have passed. Honor the spirits. Honor all of that. Just because we can't see it doesn't mean it's not important. Doesn't mean that the energy isn't coming in for all of us. Listen to the spirits going on. Listen to the messages coming in for you. And that is how you will move through this next week. I think we've got about nine days, maybe seven more days until that full moon. I don't know. I can't do the math. My little head's been all clogged. At any rate, the message is really just keep to your practice. Take time for yourself. Ask those big questions. What is next for me? All right. So that I don't continue rambling, let's take a moment and pause, take a breath, and set an intention for where you are right 
now. So if you can, light some sage, light some fire. See that element of fire inspiring your spirit to open up. The element of air as you breathe in. Opening the heart, the element of water. And grounding with Mother Earth, closing the eyes. Exhaling all the way down deep into the earth. Inhale, taking another breath all the way back up the body. And exhale all the way back down deep into the earth. As you take that next inhale, call in your spirit. Call all your energy back into you. Feel it coming in, aligning, centering, right into the very center of your heart. Feel that awareness that you have. Your spirit, the greater spirit. Know that you are loved. Know that you are known and protected. Feeling all this energy come around as you start this week. Taking a moment, noticing where you are on this great wheel of life. Here we are in the season of fall in the direction of the west where the sun sets each and every day, right here in this hemisphere anyway. Feel those beautiful crimson colors of the sunset coming in, reflecting your path, your life, your struggles even. Releasing, letting go. The leaves are beautiful as they fall and return to the earth. Know that that cycle will begin again with gratitude, with love, with light. Just taking a moment, calling in the directions to the west, the north, the east and the south, above us, below us, right into that deepest part of your heart. Set that intention for you for this week. Notice that intention. How do you want to feel? <clears throat> How do you want to feel? <clears throat> Excuse me. And allow those intentions to radiate out from your heart all the way around you. Radiate. Find that vibration. Hold it for you as you move through this week. Focus the third eye. Feel the strength in your heart. Be strong. Continue to bring this forward for you as you move through this week. Return to these intentions. And now just exhale all the way down, deep into the earth, grounding, centering. Starting to bring the awareness back. Feel that beautiful vibration all around you. Coming back, blinking the eyes open. Hmm. Yes, Kika, lots of hot tea. Ginger, actually, I've got some really good vitamin C. Goes right in, major doses. I'm actually doing a shock treatment. Vitamin C, vitamin A, D3, and zinc. Four-day shock treatment, major amounts. We'll see. All right, let's talk about the cards. First off is the five of fire. All right, yes, zinc too. Five of fire. Five of fire, this is all about change. This is what we're talking about. Five, change and conflict and moving through. And it does feel sometimes like struggle, all right? Especially if you're changing. But know that as you allow these changes to come forward, it will then become more of the norm. But sometimes we have to go through some of that fire to get us to that new passion. So it could feel like everything is up in the air. Like, oh my God, everything's changing. I feel like I'm in struggle. I feel like I'm fighting and fighting and fighting to get where I'm going. Take a breath. Notice it's a fire element, all right? That's some of that Mars energy, and Mars is going retrograde. So you may even feel like, God, haven't I thought about this before? Haven't I already seen this before? All right, it's asking you to relook at some of that energy for you, but it is a time of change. It is. Where can you change? And ways in which you can do this. Now, the first card is the lovers. All right, this is asking you about your own divinity. What is your connection with the greater spirit? What is your connection with the world? Where are you putting your feet down? Where can you feel that completely for you? As you answer that question for you, it opens up and radiates out to everybody else around you, including your partners, including your relationships. But first and foremost, answering the questions for you. So if you are moving through changes and you feel like, oh, maybe my partner's not keeping up, continue to work with the divinity of your own self, all right? You can't force anybody to make those changes, but as you work with that for yourself, then that's where the changes start to shift all around you as well. All right? I love that. Daughter of air. 
Be curious right now. Try things. Be different. Be new. Be adventurous. That's exactly what it is. It's like, yes, I can try it. Yes, I can do anything I want. Great mindset to have right now as you move through all these changes and move through these eclipses. I can do anything. Take that attitude. Ten of water. I love this because this is like saying, even though we are in change, this is letting you say, okay, but Look at the fullness of the emotions. Look at the things I've created. Look at all of this beautiful hard energy coming together for me. This is a great way to build the confidence for what you're doing. We also have to remember gratitude. <laughs> this is a card that's like the happy family card. This is like the happy gratitude card. Because as we come to a 10, we begin again. All right, Ace of Water, that new love that comes in. So really appreciate all that you've set forth, even if you're moving through changes, and even if you want to move changes Make sure that you're doing the work and have that love for yourself and offer the gratitude that you have. All right. Good cards. I hear the heaviness on my chest. My goodness. Good cards for t this week. Change is good. Have the divinity of your heart. Know the gratitude. Have this attitude. I love this attitude. I can do anything. I got this. I can do it. Be curious. And then gratitude. Yes, for sure. All right, let me know how that resonates with you. If you'd like a card, I have a few moments as I can still breathe, and I will give you cards. Hey, wing. All right, Mark and I will take cards. All right, Mark's first. Mark, Ten of Earth. All right, so Mark, this is a Ten of Earth. This is, um, this is like a card that reminds you to look at all you've accomplished, how hard you've been working, and the things that you're building from what you're working forward, all right? So Earth is our, our pentacles, our work, our money. And so we just have to remember that sometimes we have to look at the whole picture, even if life seems hard. We keep doing it. We honor what we're building. And then there is that part of like making sure that it is worth it all. So appreciation, any of the tens always do remind me of like gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. But it is a recognition of all that is building up and all that you have around you. All right, beautiful card. Marissa, you got the hanged man. All right, so this is about having patience with yourself, taking a moment, hanging upside down and looking at life from a different perspective. All right, cut yourself a little break, all right? Just, just be sure when you get overwhelmed in your mind, turn upside down, all right? Literally, figuratively, symbolically, I don't know. I'm big at putting my legs up the wall. But it's asking you to look at life with a different perspective. Have a little patience and give yourself a time out when you need it. All right? Let me know if that resonates with you, okay? All right. Kika. Two of water. Kika, this is the true lover's card. All right? First, we have the lovers with divinity. But then as you get to know that, that true lover's card is coming in. Where is that for you? Are you in a relationship? If you're in a relationship, this can take you deeper. And if you're not, open the heart, girl. Open the heart. All right, great. Let me know how that resonates. Carla, Carla, we got the nine of fire. All right, so this is like things are building, things are working. Keep doing a little more attention, though. Something is asking you for more. Nines are always about like almost completion, but something more. Fire is our passion and desire. So there is something that's calling you to go in a little deeper in the fire that you have in your life and the passions that you have. What can you focus in on? Maybe it's something that you've like kind of put on the wayside. Come back to it, all right? Yes, and that may be some of the energy that comes up with the Mars retrograde because it's that fire energy taking us back to relook at something, okay? Right in alignment with that. All right, Amy. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Priestess. All right, so this is all about like sitting between those pillars of knowledge. Use the mystery schools. Like this is the wisdom that you carry. Notice that in this card, you see her, her face looks like it's there, but that's the crown. Open up your spiritual center. Bring in divine guidance. Trust that you do know this, all right? Trust that you know you have intuition. Bring it forward and use it as the tools that you need, okay? Let me know how that resonates. Mercedes, Mercedes, we got the ten of air. All right, so any drama going on, any mindset stuff that you need to let go of, this is my tapping card. I would say tap. Tap on what's ever churning in your mind right now. There's something going over and over. I don't know. Let me know how that feels. But it's almost like stabbing your own self in your hands, right? So this is a card that says it's time to pull all that old mindset together. Let it go. Cut the cord. Just tap it away so that you don't have to carry it again because right after the ten of air, New mindset, ace comes in, a new mindset coming, all right? Let me know how that is. All right. Love you and feel better, my dear. Reiki, you from, yes, thank you, Kika. 
All right, resonates. All right, Diane. Okay, we got the moon card. I always love this card, all right? It's a beautiful card. It reminds us to really tune into our intuition. It tells us to don't get caught in the illusions of life. Make sure that you're opening up to your intuitive abilities. Tune into what your intuition is telling you to do now. Trust that gut, all right? Hell yes, that's what I say. Know your hell yes. All right, you guys, my breath is getting tired. I'm excited to show up for everyone tonight, just seeing if I missed anybody. Definitely check out the podcast. It's a lot of fun. Yes, it is an hour, so it is a longer one, but it is worth it, especially if you're interested in what mediumship is, if you're interested in ghosts, if you're interested in opening up to a better understanding of channels, guides, all of that energy. Check it out. Oh, I do have a big announcement I forgot before I close. I did want to say that we're really excited. The Reiki Association has found its new home. We're collaborating with the OHA Body and Wellness, Bridget and Chris. Bridget and Chris, they're over here in Claremont Avenue. If you're local to Birmingham, we'll be talking about it. I will have some programs starting over there. Wednesdays, I'll do a Reiki meditation at noon. Monday evenings at 5.30, I'm going to do a Reiki and crystal healing. I'm so excited. And then Rhonda White will be doing a Law of One, Reiki and a Law of One on Sundays. And we will have a Reiki for Parents certification class, August, uh, November 13th. All right, check it out. If you're local to Birmingham, please come join us, come support us, come check out her center. It's beautiful. She does great work. And we are super excited to be coordinating and collaborating with them. That's my announcement. All right, you guys, take a moment. I am still at the Yoga Circle Tuesdays and Fridays. Please come join me there for classes. So just take a moment returning to your intentions you set for this week. Feel that resonance of your heart, those elevated emotions. Focus your third eye. Just take a moment and imagine your third eye projecting out on your week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Next week will be big on the eclipse. All right, we'll talk more. But feel that energy just projecting all the way through your week as you hold the vibration from your heart leading with that. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale all the way down, grounding your energy, feeling that empowered spirit coming forward. Radiate your light. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.